Hi, welcome to .NET Video Tutorials. This is Abhi and you're watching part 3 of WPF Tutorials video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the WPF Stack Panel Layout. Basically, Stack Panel is used to align the data or controls inside it either in vertical or in horizontal manner. We can use the orientation property of a stack panel through which we can define the alignment. We can create any kind of listing list using stack panel layout. The WPF controls like combo box, list box or menu uses the stack panel internally. So let's look at the stack panel layout. Fire up the Visual Studio, go to new project the name stack panel layout now the visual studio has created a WPF project for me let's make it more bigger maybe 85 Now I will delete this grid control stack panel. By default, the stack panel orientation is always going to be vertical. So if you will put any controls inside it or if you will put any, uh, I mean, the text block or something like that, then that is going to align vertically. If you have not given anything here in the orientation property. So by default, the orientation property of stack panel is vertical. Let's put some button here. Button and the content is submit. I can put some more buttons. So you can see the buttons are aligned vertically. If you want to change the orientation, you can simply go to the stack panel, select orientation and you can select any property values from this drop down. So if you will select the horizontal, then the buttons are going to align horizontally. So let's select this and you can see the buttons are aligned horizontally. Now, another thing is that stack panel does not really care whether or not there is enough room for the content or not. It does not wrap the content in any way and it does not automatically provide you with the ability to scroll. So what do I mean by that? Let's, uh, let's make it more smaller maybe 300 so if I will put more buttons here now as you can see I have created buttons and these are going outside the boundary of stack panel but still the stack panel is not showing any scroll here so stack panel does not provide any scrolling feature like that you can set something like here the same happens if you are going to set the orientation as vertical and if the height is smaller maybe more smaller you can see there is no horizontal or vertical scrolling there there is just simple nothing So you can use other controls like scroll fever to apply the scrolling feature into the stack panel. So that's another part. I will talk about the scroll viewer in scroll viewer control in a very great detail in my later video sessions. So that's it from this video tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment and let me know your views
if you have any questions please let me know i will try to solve thanks for watching have a great